Hello everyone, and welcome to the first ever episode of The Sims 4 Supervet. Welcome to my channel, my name is Desi Daydream, and this is Melody Hackett and her raccoon Miko. Melody is a budding vet, she's a huge Disney fan, hence the name Miko from Pocahontas. Um, she loves both cats and dogs, she's very hard working and she just she wants to achieve her goal of becoming the best vet in town. Uh, so for this uh, series we're starting off with literally nothing. We have no money whatsoever. Oh no, sorry we do. We have 110 simoleons in the vet clinic. Uh, that's not really going to buy us anything but it's fine. Um, <coughs> Uh, Miko has his own little area over here, just to keep him happy uh, while we go out and try and actually earn some money like w from dig sites and that kind of thing. I basically decided I wanted to do this because I kind of cheated in my 100 rescues challenge. Uh, when I got my new house, uh, I built it myself but I cheated in more money because there wasn't enough money there uh, to build a house that was big enough to hold quite a few rescues. Now the thing is, this is just Melody and Miko, there's no other animals yet uh, that I have planned, so they, they can do with nothing, and I mean as long as Miko has some stuff then it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, let's get into it I suppose. Um, right, so first things first, I want to go and fill up Miko's bolt. I'm gonna have to put this back into. So what's that? Hundred. Oh, hundred and ten. Okay. So this is just so I can fill his bowl up, really. Okay. Now he's got something to eat. So now we need to go and find some of the um, dig sites and maybe do some fishing and that kind of thing. So here's some dig sites here. <coughs> There's some kind of flower here. Wild catnip. Ooh, okay. We'll get some catnip. Um, this is wild catnip. I know it's wild catnip. Oh, I just clicked on view because it doesn't have any... You can't harvest it yet. Um, nuzzle nip. Well, it's nice to know that they're like right outside of our uh, house. It's nice. Um, some more over here. It's a rose bush. Um, ooh, my game's gone a bit laggy there. Oh, oh, okay. Um, sorry guys if this is a bit laggy, but I don't know why it's just suddenly started doing that. Um, ooh, now she's feeling flirty. Oh, actually, I forgot to mention her traits and stuff. So, her main goal in life is to find a soulmate. So this is going to include, she's going to find a soulmate, she's going to probably have a family at some point during this. Uh, that kind of thing common upgrade parts really um, so yeah that that's what she wants to do her traits if I can remember how you get the traits that one uh, she's a genius she's romantic she's a cat lover and she's alluring well the alluring comes from the soulmate thing um, so yeah she she's very smart so therefore obviously she's a vet so she needs to be quite smart for that um, She's a cat lover, obviously she has Miko, who's technically not a cat, but he counts as a cat in this for some reason. Um, so that'll just help her build a relationship with her cat a bit more. Uh, okay, I think we're going to have to actually leave this lot in order to find any other ones, because I don't see any. Um, now, let's, let's, we'll have to leave, uh, leave Miko on his own as well. Um, a little while and head over to the dog park maybe I think that's like more countryside than most of the other places so I think I'll head across there uh, yeah here I don't want to bring Miko uh, just leave him where he is because he's got his own little area there and I can't really afford to fill up new food bills and that kind of thing uh, so for now this will do um, right okay Papa Stone Park uh, don't think there'll be any in the actual park. I doubt it. Um, nah. Right. So we need some more dig sites. 
could go fishing in a little bit. Uh, first things first, I want to try and see if there's any more of these dig sites. Because you can earn quite a bit of money if you dig up like treasure maps and that kind of thing. Um, there's the vets. To be honest, I've probably just missed a load and I haven't even realised it. Um, this looks like it would be a good place for some. Um, nope, doesn't look like there is. Uh, right. Come on, there has to be some somewhere around here. This prime territory, is that? That is one. Okay, cool. Found one. <laughs> Only a lot more to go. Uh, the thing is with vet clinics as well is they do cost quite a bit. Um, like it's two and a half thousand for just to get uh, the examination table. And then obviously there's the surgery table, there's the check-in machine, that kind of thing. So it's, we're going to have to get at least, well, at least I would say probably 6,000 from this so that I can build like the walls and that kind of thing. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, if I don't get much money this way, she might actually have to get a job for a few days. Uh, and it's basically going to have to be like a rags to riches challenge kind of thing where she goes out and she starts with nothing and eventually builds up to having an actual decent house. She's going to be living at a vet clinic as well, I don't think I mentioned that. Uh, she's going to actually live like probably above it. I'll probably make like a little staircase with like a house above uh, just because it's going to be a lot easier than like moving between the vet clinic and oh okay I'd already told her to dig that one for some reason um, but yeah it's just it'll be a lot easier uh, and it'll make the series flow a lot quicker and stuff like that because obviously if she'd been living at home then it means that uh, she might not go to the vet clinic until like really really late in the day and she wouldn't get a full day's work in and it's just a lot easier um, I think this is actually her home lot here. Yeah. Um, obviously, she's never actually going to go there, purely because of the fact that is that another raccoon? Oh, hang on, Miko joined. Why did Miko come? I did tell him to stay home. Right, you can go and send him home after this because he needs to go back because he's not supposed to be here. <laughs> okay, we got. Rose. Okay. What is that? Ozinold. Uh, once she has enough money and stuff, I'm probably not gonna need to um, obviously go and get um, this stuff. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna get it anyway and set up like a collection thing. I was gonna do that on. Um, on uh, 100, ba 100 babies. 100 babies, yeah, that's, that's totally not 100 pets. <laughs> cool story. Um, but yeah, 100 pets uh, challenge, 100 rescues challenge, there we go, that's the one. Um, yeah, if I do it on this one it'll probably be a bit easier because I can probably set up like more just because in the 100 rescues challenge I think she's going to be like constantly busy, she's not really going to be wanting to go and um, dig things up and that kind of thing. Whereas in this series we can have a day off to just go and explore and dig up new things, that kind of thing. Ooh, treasure map. Sells for 80. How much have we got already? 380, 68. This is taking a, a lot longer than I thought it would. I don't know. I'll open one of these, see if I actually get anything. Good. I don't think that's good. No, it's not. Okay, I'm just going to sell the other one. No, don't go home. What are you doing? Oh, I hate it when they do this. Like, I wish they wouldn't automatically do that. Stop it. You're not going home. I know you're tired and you need a shower, but for now you're going to sleep on this bench for a little while. And then maybe we'll go to the gym in Windenburg so you can take a shower. Is there a gym in Windenburg? I don't even know if there is. I know there's one in um, the other one. I don't remember what the name of it is. That's, I'm sure that's very helpful to people. 
Uh, no, no, you don't have anything at home, so why would you want to go there? St this is going to irritate me if she keeps doing this. Uh, go and dig up this one. There's probably a couple more left. And then once she's gotten those, she can go home. Well, not home. Probably to the gym, like I said. That's probably... It's probably a lot easier. Yeah, there's a great party going down at the nightclub. Who even is this? Supriya, have I talked to you? Apparently. <laughs> Enough to know who your spouse is, apparently. No, okay. <laughs> well. Okay, I think some of these are starting to respawn now. Uh, right. She collects these ones and then she can go to the gym. Time capsule. Sell that straight out. Um, okay, we almost have a thousand. Uh, I might set up her house first in that case. Just because thing is I want to move it on top. So would I be able to do that? Okay, apparently she's too uncomfortable to actually dig anything now. So these are the last few that she's going to be digging up. Ooh. No, please stop trying to invite me places. Um, there'd be anywhere around here with like a shower or anything. Um. Probably not. Okay, this is the last one. Oh, yeah, the common upgrade parts. Okay. Well then. That was extremely useful. Um, she's extracting the fossil. She needs to leave the toilet. i will use that one. Come on. What you doing? She's just standing there being all stinky. Okay, stop doing that. I'm going to use the bathroom instead. And then we will go to the gym. Well, to be fair, if you pee yourself, it's not really going to make that much of a difference. Um, tell you what, we'll just go straight to the gym. Is there a gym in Brindleton Bay? I don't think there will be, will there? No. Is that a house? That must be a house. Uh, okay. Well, no. Not incomplete yet, because we haven't got anything yet. Um, why did I go to Magnolia Promenade? Of course there's nothing going to be in there. <laughs> uh, okay, Jim. Hey. Don't take anyone. I'm guessing she's probably going to take Miku anyway, even though I told her not to, but we'll see. <laughs> Here's hoping she doesn't. I would really appreciate it if she didn't. Right, okay. So this place has to have showers, right? No? Wait, is this a gym without showers? What? Oh, okay. I kind of freaked out a little bit on that, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's find out where she actually... Goes to, okay. And then she can take a shower in one of these ones. There we go. And is there anywhere she can take a nap, like a bench or something? Ooh, right one. There's one right there. Actually, not sit. I didn't mean to click a to sit. Oh well. Um, well, this is so pretty over here. I don't think I've ever been here. I mean, I've been to Windenburg, just not everywhere in Windenburg. Um, See, that's one thing that I'm kind of annoyed about, is like none of the families and stuff in here have pets. I might add them to have pets, uh, and maybe I'll move a vet clinic at some point. Because uh, obviously there's already a one in Brindle Bay, Brindleton Bay, so she probably doesn't want to compete with it, so... I'll move her, why not, at some point. Um, probably not straight away, she's got a lot where she is now, but... It's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> right, so we've got 758 simoleons right now. Doesn't seem like very much, but I'm sure once she has a couple thousand, then it will be great. Uh, 
<sighs> oh gosh, it's a bit laggy. I'll try and fix that for next episode. Don't want to be all laggy. Oh, and by the way, this series is not replacing 100 Rescues. It is replacing it on a Wednesday, but on a Friday we're still going to have 100 Rescues up. So today, which will be the Wednesday, uh, we'll have Super Vet. And on a Friday we will have uh, 100 Rescues. So, okay, she's got a broken fossil, great. Anyway, guys, I think that is where I'm going to leave the episode with her just outside in a towel looking very sad. Um, yeah, I will talk you to you guys next episode. Leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!